Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are in our car right now in Burnaby. We are about to meet up with Sharon, who you've seen in a previous vlog, but uh, we thought that we would have a light snack before we meet her. Actually, Alex gave us these cute little thermos things before he left and as like a gift mm -hmm. and they're super cute. I thought it doesn't hold much food, but we did like a liquid test to see how many mils it can hold and it's not bad, but we'll see if this is enough to fill me. I definitely like the color and the design though. Yeah, and it came with stickers, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stick that on different things once we find a use for it. For lunch today, we have leftover rice and broccoli and asparagus and some of our, uh, what was it? Pork, pork roast. Yeah. yeah, pork roast. We had this whole debate last night whether or not steaming your food and then putting in the thermos or microwaving it and then sticking in the thermos. If there's a difference as to which one retains heat better or just is overall better and I was on the side that steaming it <laughs> is actually better. I think that microwaving it and steaming it makes no difference at all. I'm not sure because <laughs> my whole childhood was steaming our food. <laughs> For lunch we wouldn't bring like sandwiches or anything. We'd actually bring like a thermos like this and we'd have rice and different types of leftovers. Super Asian. <laughs> It'd only be on the off days that I would actually have sandwiches. So this is very nostalgic for me. Yeah, I sometimes have food in a thermos, but I will, I will also have sandwiches and stuff like that. We're at Peaked Pie with Sharon and uh, we got, apparently this is typical or very famous Australian food and so it's just basically some sort of a savory pie with like mashed potatoes and smashed peas topped with gravy and I got the mushroom and steak and Sharon got the mushroom and bacon. mushroom and bacon yeah so yeah let's cut it open and see what it looks like how do you eat this I don't even know can I cut it yeah all right very green on the inside maybe I'll just cut it in half and I'll just like show you all right go for it <laughs> it looks like such a mess. <laughs> yeah. Good? It's like comfort food. I like it. Mm -hmm. It tastes like what you'd expect it to taste like. <laughs> like the mashed potato and gravy especially. I think that's because I just got a big bite of mashed potato and gravy. <laughs> So we just finished that awesome light snack lunch thing and we're dropping Sharon off. So thank you so much for hanging out again, Sharon. It's been awesome. And we definitely will find another day with better weather where we can go on like a nice hike and uh, you can take <laughs> us to your favorite places. It's so nice to see you here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, see you later, Sharon. Yeah. We just got home from grocery shopping and now we're putting away everything and cooking dinner. So we actually saw a lot of people in the taco aisle and we were like kind of inspired. We were like, wow, we haven't had tacos in like forever. Today we're gonna try to attempt to put together a box taco package thing. It was so unfortunate that today's weather was like not great. We've been trying to meet with Sharon for quite a number of weeks now and because of weather and schedule conflicts, it didn't really work out. It was my lack of foresight and planning and I didn't check the weather. Oh, hey. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's why we had to go inside. We're going to go to a park in Burnaby, a place that we've never been to, but I guess we'll have to postpone that to a future date. Anyways, on with cooking. So unboxing time. Okay. When was the last time you had this? I never had this before. I never had the old El Paso in my life. You guys never did taco nights or anything? My mom made homemade 
taco. Wow, so bougie. Seasoning mix, taco sauce, and soft shells. There's six of them. And hard shells. There's six of them. Not broken? Nope, not broken. Alrighty. We have our vegetables cut and now Riley's gonna fry the meat. Apparently there's also a surprise inside the box. So let's open it and see. Ta-da! Free old El Paso dinner kit. That would have been useful tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so this was buy one get one free essentially because it gave you a coupon for a free one. Good find, good find. Yeah. How do you build a taco? <laughs> However you want to build it, I don't know. There's <laughs> no there uh, like order, a... I guess. Look, you're gonna build it and you're gonna take one bite and the whole thing is gonna fall apart anyhow, so it doesn't matter how you cut it. I don't think I've ever had a hard shell taco in my life. I don't particularly like hard shell tacos just because, you know, you take one bite and then just the whole thing crumbles. I like soft because you can really, you know, jam pack a ton in there. <laughs> well. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to put lettuce on the bottom so when I put meat on it, it won't juice onto uh, my, Your hands? my no my hard my hard taco shell and hopefully it won't make it soft and crumbly. Today was an eating day. <laughs> like the thing for for lunch was so interesting. <laughs> the Australian food. I've never heard of Australian food before. I didn't know they had their own uh, subcategory, but I guess that yeah. makes sense. Like there's Chinese food, there's like American diner food, but yeah. Australian, like no food specifically stands out that's like specifically <laughs> Australian besides like Vegemite, the infamous spread that kills life. But <laughs> I guess there's no like Canadian food either. Right? Yeah, no, you got poutine. Oh yeah. Poutine it's, and maple syrup, very closely tied to our uh, heritage. <laughs> and Cream. Oh, also funny story about the sour cream. We're um, at Walmart and we're buying sour cream, and yeah. it was actually on sale because it like, expires in like two days. <clears throat> but it's also like no fat, so no one wants that because no fat just is no fun. <laughs> <laughs> we tried a little bit of it, like lick the sour cream off the lid, and it actually tastes pretty good. It's just like maybe a little bit flavor off, but it's not like drinking like Coke and then Coke Zero. It's Pretty non noticeable. <laughs> I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> but it's good though. Uh, since there's no fat, I have no shame, so I'll just pile that on here. <laughs> this is your first time trying El Paso. What do you think about it? Pretty good. Usually we make our own fajitas. It's unique to have hard shell tacos, I guess. There's still taco sauce. Oh. Yeah. I will get that. I was going to say the taco seasoning, I think we can just make it at home. Chili powder. Chili powder. Garlic onion. powder. Onions. Tastes like everything we have at home. <laughs> yeah, basically. These taco kits are actually pretty cheap. And I mean, six soft shell and six hard shell tacos plus seasoning and stuff. It's about like $2 something. And it's buy one get one free mm -hmm. at like a later time. In high school, for fundraisers, we always um, sold deconstructed tacos using Doritos so you would buy a Doritos bag and then you fill it you open it and fill it with all these toppings then you crush up the Doritos inside and mix everything up and you eat it with a spoon <laughs> mm, that's very unique mm -hmm. how much did you sell those for I don't know 10 uh, bucks no I dare you to do that at a potluck just bring a giant bag of Doritos, crush it all up, and whip it in there. <laughs> Alright, first soft shell taco. Alright, this is getting a little um. out of hand. It's getting very high over here. Alright, well that's nowhere close to closing. <laughs> <laughs> For soft shell tacos, do you just fold them in half or? Yeah, you fold them in half. Okay, so if you wrap it up, they it's call a it a burrito. burrito. <laughs> yeah. But the fillings from what's inside a taco versus a burrito, they're like basically the same thing. Burrito, you have beans and rice. Taco is what we have here. I think the whole reason why we wanted to do this was the ground beef at Walmart was like half off, like per mm -hmm. pound. It was super cheap and then 
also in addition to seeing a lot of people in the taco section looking around we were like inspired i guess and then sour cream was half off oh yeah sour cream it was like all the stars <laughs> like aligned perfectly and we we're just able to have this like gorgeous meal if sour cream is no fat then what are we what eating what is it yeah because cream is fat <laughs> modified milk modified cornstarch microcrystalline cellulose Modified cornstarch is used as a thickener, cellulose thickener, gum thickener, carrageenan is a thickener. Man, with all this, <laughs> with all the amount of thickeners you just listed, <laughs> I would expect this to be like molasses. Sam tapped out, so I guess it's up to me to finish all this. All right, I'm all good here. It's been a very chill weekend. We didn't really do too much. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And we will see you guys next week. Peace.